Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open the final of the Guilds of Ravnica pre-release packs. So today, this is the Dom Domir. <laughs> Domir. So that is blue and black. And this is the one I actually opened on pre the actual pre-release event itself. So I'll be curious to see what we pull today. And with me I have Kiora and Liliana to do the pack blessing duties. Hopefully that will get us some very juicy pulls. So let's see here. Put that aside. We lay out our packs. And we get a very nice blue and black spin down. Pretty cool. Like how they have the colors on these things. Alright, let's get stuck into it. So, Kiora doing the pack blessings first, followed by Liliana. And let's see what else we have here. We'll set the promo card aside. And there is also a code for coming to pre-release. So use this code to unlock one sealed event entry in Magic the Gathering Arena. So that is a nice bonus in the packs. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this, see what we pull today, and then we'll try to figure out what sort of bet deck we would build from this. Starting off, we have Maximize Altitude Barging Sergeant, 10th District Guard, Hitch Claw Recluse, Spinal Centipede, Samala Woodshaper, Devious Cover Up, Rhizome Lurcher, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Dark Blade Agent, and we've got one of these flip cards Flower and Flourish. First the Uncommons, Whispering Snitch, there he is again, Inescapable Blaze, and rare is Assassin's Trophy, yes, got it, Instant for two, so that is Swamp and Forest, the Golgari colours, Destroy target permanent opponent controls. Its controller may search a library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle their library. Very happy about this pool. This is one of the big hits at the time of filming. Fantastic. Next up, we have Demir Gilgate and a bird illusion token. All right, that's going to be pretty tough to beat in pack number two. And we have this guy, the Goblin Locksmith, up to mischief as usual. Loxodon Restorer, Wishcoin Crab, Moodmark Painter, Warrior Carpy, Golgari Locket, Maniacal Rage, Hired Poisoner, Venati Shieldmate, Hypothesizzle. And for the Uncommons, we have Night Vale Sprite. Might of the Masses, Demir Spybug, and the rare is Narcomoeba. So this is a 1-1 one, one creature illusion for 2 mana with flying, and when it's put into your graveyard from your library, you may put it onto the battlefield. That seems pretty decent. And we get a Selesnia Guildgate and a Soldier Token. Next pack. And I'm hoping, well I was going to say I'm hoping we don't get hosed, but yeah, the Assassin's Trophy, that's definitely not hosed. We have a Disdainful Stroke, Torch Courier, there he is again, he keeps making appearances. Hunted Witness, Vidalcan Mesmerist. Crushing Canopy, Barrier of Bones. Gotta love the skeleton walls, that is pretty cool. Generous Stray, here he is again, giving us some dinner. Barters and Bats, Gateway Plaza, Dead Weight. Cue the Ajani joke. 
And the uncommons we have Guild Summit Thoughtbound Phantasm World Soul Colossus and the rare is Etrata the Silencer. So this is another good one. 3-5 for 4 mana in the Demir colours. So we're actually getting some nice pulls here in our colours. Legendary Creature Vampire Assassin. Etrata the Silencer can't be blocked. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, exile target creature that player controls and put a hit counter on that card. That player loses the game if they own three or more XL cards with hit counters on them. Atrada's owner shuffles Atrada into their library. Very nice. And a Selesna Gilgate and an Insect Token. Okay, down to the last two packs here. Don't want to be greedy, but a Planeswalker or a Mythic would be nice. Thanks Liliana or Kiora, either one. Next up we have the Ornery Goblin. There he is, Goblin Warrior. Skyline Scout, Wall of Mist, Vicious Rumours, Vigaspore Worm, Severed Strands, Wild Ceratoc, Parhelion Patrol, Garrison Sergeant, and for the Uncommons we have Electrostatic Field, Good for Battle. Golgari Findbroker and the rare is Dawn of Hope. So this is an enchantment for two. Whenever you gain life, you may pay two if you do draw a card. And for three in a planes, create a one-one white soldier creature token with lifelink. <coughs> and we also get a foil dead weight enchantment aura for a single swamp enchant creature and enchanted creature gets minus two minus two very nice and a demir guildgate that's what we need and a soldier token okay last pack here and then we'll take a look at the promo card and the seeded demir pack we have sure strike Righteous Blow, Vidalcan Mesmerist, Ornery Goblin, there he is again, Veiled Shade, Vigaspore Worm, Never Happened, Hitchclaw Recluse, Notion Rain, Pause for Reflection, and for the Uncommons we have a Gatekeeper Gargoyle, Thoughtbound Phantasm, one of these flip cards, Status and Statue, and the rare, let's have a pick here, gold, black, blue, oh, ho, ho, ho. very nice, mnemonic betrayal mythic, so this is a sorcery for three in the Demir colours, I actually pulled this one in pre-release, so that was pretty good, used it once or twice in some of the games. Exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards. You may cast those cards this turn, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast those spells. And at the beginning of the next end step, if any of those cards remain exiled, return them to their owner's graveyards. And Exile Mnemonic Betrayal, that is a pretty cool pull. So we're doing fantastically well on this final video in the series. We get a Golgari Guildgate and an Elf Knight token. Okay, let's see if we can make it even better. We'll take a look at our promo card. What's it going to be? Any guesses? It is a Trout of the Silencer. Not bad. So we looked at that earlier. That's a Legendary Creature Vampire Assassin 3-5 for 4 mana. Let's get a look at the foiling on that. I won't reread everything. We just saw it already. So two of those is actually pretty good in the pre-release. Improving our chances of casting that. Look at that foiling. Very nice. Leave a note in the comments if you pulled one of those in foil or what you got in your pre-release packs. I'm curious what everyone was getting. So we continue on. Demir Locket, Night Vale Predator, House Guild Mage, City Watch Sphinx, Whisper Agent, Demir Informant, Passwall Adept, 
deadly visit and you'll notice these are all black or blue or a combination thereof so that's the stuff you need for your Demir deck so deadly visit disdainful stroke child of night dowser of lights dazzling lights barters and bats and a Demir guild gate so that will come in handy so let's take a look at what we got here so very clearly yep mnemonic betrayal that would go in uh, let's see, Dawn of Hope. So we've got to see, would we splash anything? A Trout of the Silencer, that would be included for sure. Narcomoeba with Flying, that seems pretty good. And you actually, um, if you dump it into your graveyard from your library, you can put it on the battlefield. Assassin's Trophy, do we dare splash green? Uh, not sure, let's take a look at what else we've got here. So, status and statue, it's another one. Thoughtbound Phantasm, Flying Gatekeeper Gargoyle. So, yeah, look out for the flyers, those are always good in pre release. Golgari Find Broker, so he looked pretty good. World Soul Colossus, but that's with some white there, so probably wouldn't do that. Um, you could actually uh, go for four color or five color, but the chances of getting the mana you need are pretty slim. Might of the masses, so if we were talking about green, that might be okay. Pumping up your creatures. Night Vale Sprite with flying would probably include that. Inescapable Blaze. And Flower and Flourish. Oh, that's got white, so I probably wouldn't do that. So yeah, maybe a splash of green. And then if we look at the commons here. So a bat. I think we had a couple of bats, so those would be includes for flying creatures. Although they're only uh, one toughness, so not that great. Child of Night would probably be a good one. Deadly Visits, some nice removal. Destroy target creature and surveil. So Surveil is the big mechanic you would want to use here if you can get some synergies there. Demir Informant with Surveil. And Whisper Agent with Surveil. City Watch Sphinx with Surveil, yeah. So we've got tons of Surveilling here. House Guild Mage. Night Vale Predator. That would be pretty strong. Flying, Death Touch and Hexproof. So I would probably auto-include that. Pause for Reflection. Notion Rain, Hitchcock Claw Recluse with Reach, so maybe the green is looking good. Vigor Spore Worm, seems pretty tough. Uh, so green, keep looking, so white is probably not something I would do. And leave a note in the comments if there's anything here, generous stray, uh, that I have overlooked or you would do differently um, let me know crushing canopy so destroy target creature with flying or destroy target enchantment that's probably more of a sideboard type card if we find somebody's running enchantments which you may or may not find in pre-release because people are limited to what's in their packs vigilance uh, he's with white so hired poisoner with death touch that would be pretty good Warrior Carpy, Dark Blade Agent. So you're going to be doing a lot of surveilling, so that would give it Death Touch, and when it deals combat damage, draw a card. Rhizome Lurcher, here's another one we could take advantage of, because we're surveilling a lot, dumping stuff in the graveyard. Yes, yeah, so I would probably go with Demir with a bit of green in there, depending on how things balance out. You want to look at your spells and creatures and see how all that works out. So leave a note in the comments, what would you do with this selection of cards? And I hope you enjoyed this video and this series. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.